Hello everyone, welcome to new video on preclinical pharmacology. Today, in this video, we will discuss about methods of testing chromosomal abbreviation. In previous video, we have seen what is chromosomal abbreviation. Again, we will see what is uh, chromosomal abbreviation and testing methods of chromosomal abbreviation. Now, chromosomal abbreviation is chromosomal abnormalities which occur when there is defect in the number of chromosomes in a cell of an organism or in the arrangement of genetic material on the chromosome. Means any abnormality on chromosome or in uh, chromosome number uh, of an organism or in an arrangement of genetic material is called as chromosomal abbreviation. Now, why it is necessary to study the chromosomal abbreviation? Now, chromosomal chromosomes as play a vital role in human biology as they carry the genes that determine every trait we inherit, ranging from eye color to predisposition to certain diseases. Each of our cells contains a complete set of our chromosomes, allowing cells to replicate and carry out their specific functions. Chromosomes are also crucial in the context of reproduction in the formation of sperm and egg cells. Chromosomes are half to ensure that the offspring inherit the correct number of chromosomes, half from each parent. Any errors during these cell divisions can lead to chromosomal abnormalities, which can result in range of developmental disorders. Now, chromosomes play a vital role in our uh, daily or in a life. Chromosome is a basic function. So, uh, any abnormality or any changes will lead to chromosomal abbreviation. Now, cytogenetic testing for chromosomal damage. Now, what is cytogenetics? It is the branch of genetics that includes the study of chromosome structure, function, properties, and behavior during cell division. That is mitosis and meiosis and its involvement in disease condition. Means in cytogenetics, we study all the chromosomes, uh, means uh, fully structure, functions, and its properties, and also its specific involvement in disease condition. <clears throat> Now, uh, for uh, testing any abnormality in chromosome, the basic test suggested is mouse lymphoma assay. It is, can be used to measure the chemically induced gene mutation at thymidine kinase located in mouse lymphoma cells caused by base pair changes and small deletion. Means this assay or this test help us to know or understand help us to understand the gene mutation with the help of thymidine kinase. Uh, the principle of this test is in this the thymidine uh, uh, which is already present uh, in the uh, uh, mouse lymphoma cell is replaced by trifluorothymidine that is the chemical that is phosphorylated by thymidine kinase to toxic nucleotide analog. The normal cells with functional TK gene will incorporate TK genes means uh, thymidine kinase gene will incorporate TFT that is trifluorothymidine in place of thymidine which results in death of normal cells means uh, the normal cells will not accept the trifluorothymidine instead of thymidine which may lead to the death of normal cells and we can understand the genetic mutation of specific or a cell or organism. For uh, performing this assay we have to first uh, first step is to we have to select L51785 mouse and we have to isolate the lymphoma cells and grow. The, we have to grow the cells. Then cells are treated with chemicals in presence or absence of S9. S9 is a specific enzyme which carries out certain uh, physiological functions. It is not necessary to have or have not it. Then incubate for 4 hours in 5% CO2 incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. Then subculture it, wash it, dilute it and again incubate for 24 hours. Then Two uh, sections are selected, uh, means 2000 cell wells. Cells, uh, cell wells are the uh, wells uh, generated in genetic lab for culturing specific cells. In two portion, in one first portion, 2000 cells are uh, uh, means generate, uh, are kept with the chemical trifluorothymidine and 1.6 wells are observed for cloning efficiency. They are again incubated and mutant frequency is calculated from it. How much is the mutation occurred? <clears throat> the next test is in vitro metaphase chromosome abbreviation test. It is the in vitro test. Uh, basically, uh, we have means in this test, uh, we have to see the abnormality of chromosome in a metaphase condition. 
purpose of this test is to identify any uh, chemical agent or test agent that causes structural chromosomal aberration in cultured mammalian somatic cells and guidelines used in this OECD TG 473. Uh, principle of this test is we have to uh, uh, expose the cell culture to a test substance. After exposure, it is treated with metaphysic aristic substance. Then it is harvested, stained with specific dyes. Metaphys cells are analyzed microscopically for the presence of chromosomal abbreviation. Uh, to carry out, uh, we have to take first a tissue sample or cell sam sample and we have to in, uh, add some chemicals that uh, stimulate the mitosis process and we have to culture it in growth medium. Then incubate for two to three hours. Then we have to add some chemicals to stop mitosis in metaphase. Means we have to add some chemicals to uh, inhibit mitosis. That chemical can be colchicine, that is anti-gout anti drug can be added. Then these cells are transferred to test tube and a centrifuge to concentrate layers. The upper material is discarded and the remaining cell material is transferred to the test tube containing fixative. Fixative is the agent for fixing uh, the cell material to not move here and there. Then these cells are put to the microscopic slide. Then some staining agents are added uh, to stain the DNA or chromosome to enhance chromosome, identify and take photograph of uh, proper and damaged chromosomes. Next, uh, next test is in vivo uh, test, the in vivo micronuclei test. This test is used to evaluate DNA damage by detection of micronuclei in cytoplasm of interface cells. Micronuclei is a sign of genotoxicity event and chromosomal in, in instability. Now, this is the micronucleus. These are both proper, uh, means, uh, means in this proper, uh, there is a DNA. Uh, separation or chromosome separation but this is incorporated or improper DNA that is called as micronucleus. It is a sign of genotoxic event or chromosomal instability and in this test basically we observe the micronucleus. Now how this micronucleus is formed? It is a small nucleus which is formed when fragment of chromosome is not incorporated into daughter cells. Means when it is divide, uh, means when division is going on, the that proper DNA is not incorporated in daughter cells nuclei during cell div division, and it is mostly basically interface. It is formed as it is a division phase. Uh, for carrying this test, we have to first. Uh, cell uh, uh, take the cells and expose to the test compound then cytokalcin B is added for blocking cytokinesis cytokinesis is the process of division of cells and this chemical is added that is cytokalcin B for blocking the process then we have to grow and allow the chromo and allow for the chromosomal damage to lead the formation of micronuclei means we have to wait for the formation of micronuclei after adding to test compound then they are harvested and stained with specific chemical uh, DNA, uh, DNA reagents or uh, dye agents, interface cells, and they are analyzed microscopically for the presence of micronuclei. Means, and it is an analyzed with the help of uh, a high resolution microscope. The micronuclei is observed, and these micronuclei are scored. Means, score is intensity scored in complete nuclear cell division. Then. Uh, next test is in vivo rodent micronucleus test. Uh, according to OECD guideline 40, 474, principle of this test is you used to detect the potential cytogenetic damage induced by medical device to chromosome or mitotic apparatus of erythroblast. For this, we have to, um, uh, we have to uh, first, for this, For this, we have to take uh, five animals and they are treated with test compound. And dosing is done at three levels, that is low, medium and high doses. After 24 to 48 hours, animals are sacrificed by CO2 euthanasia, cut the ends of bone, flush the bone marrow with isotonic solution. Then it is centrifuge the marrow suspension and preparation of smear of sample is collected. And this smear sample, and this smear sample is 
observed or evaluated under microscope at 2000 immature erythrocytes from each animal for analysis of cell flow cytometry can be used means flow cytometry is a technique in which we can see the changes in the cells or in the uh, structure of cell next test is in vivo rodent chromosomal abbreviation test purpose of this test is to determine whether the test compound causes chromosomal breakage in bone marrow means in bone marrow in uh, the chromosome causes any damage or not we uh, means any chromosomal damage is observed with the help of bone marrow cells first for this uh, performing this we have to take uh, administer spindle poison to 2 to 5 hour prior to euthanasia to the animals means uh, 2 to 5 hours before we have to uh, give the spindle poison that can be colchicine or any another uh, harmful compound for the chromosome then from that bone marrow cells are extracted and treated with hypotonic treatment and they are fixed on the slide then they are stained with specific dyes and 200 metaphase per animals are analyzed means 200 cells per animals are analyzed under high resolution microscope at the same time mitotic index is a test assessed to measure the cytotoxicity activity means uh means cytotoxic activity is also uh, done with the help of this test or observed uh, with the help of this test. Um, accordingly, we do this test. Thank you. I hope you all understand this video. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe.